I know that this question has just been burning a hole through your brain for the last couple of weeks. And that question is, what are the high costs associated with Medicare Advantage or the gaps in the coverage and how can I protect myself from it? <laughs> I know, I was right. That was burning a hole through your brain. Oh, I'm just so smart. Well, if you're ready, today we are gonna answer that question for you. Shall we? We know that when it comes to original Medicare, there are a lot of high out-of-pocket costs. There's the Part A deductible, the co-insurances, the co-payments, things like that. It all adds up. So that's why there's a Medicare supplement or a Medigap policy that you can get to protect yourself from that. So what is the equivalent to that for Medicare Advantage? Well, unfortunately, there's no direct equivalent like a Medicare supplement to a Medicare Advantage plan, but there are ways to protect you from the more high out-of-pocket costs. But we need to look at what those high out-of-pocket costs are. So let's check out what an example of the costs look like when they're associated with Medicare Advantage plan. Here it is in its grand glory, an example of what a Medicare Advantage plan and the costs inside of it medically wise look like. So I here have it as a HMO. If it was a PPO, there would be two columns, one for your in-network doctors and one for your out-of-network doctors. Firstly, I wanna look at this maximum out-of-pocket expenses for medical things. Now, most of us know that Medicare Advantage plans have more than just medical insurance coverage. There's dental insurance, vision insurance, hearing, gym membership, things like that. Those don't partake into this number. This number just has to do with your medical expenses. It doesn't even include your prescription drug coverage maximums. But when we look at these example numbers here, we see that our low ticket items have to do with just regular medical care. And the more higher ticket items have to do with a hospital stay. We see here ambulance ride, inpatient and outpatient. Those are some pretty high coinsurances. So when we're looking at the gaps in the coverage, these are the gaps in these kind of insurances. And there are ways to protect yourself from them, and that is with a hospital indemnity plan. Now I'll go into further detail in another video on a hospital indemnity plan, but with a hospital indemnity you can either do a lump sum benefit for whenever you have any kind of hospital stay, or you can do a daily benefit to help offset all of these costs. And those plans are very reasonably priced. The only thing with them is, is you have to be underwritten through them. So you have to be able to qualify medically to be able to have one. So whenever anybody is starting into a Medicare Advantage plan, I always tell them to look hard at getting a hospital indemnity plan. Because that's the biggest gripe about these plans is this high out-of-pocket maximum for the year and somebody having some kind of a hospital stay that pushes that limit there. And if they just had a hospital indemnity plan, they could have saved themselves a lot of money. So those are the different costs that are associated with the Advantage plans and some of the gaps that those insurance coverages have and how to protect yourself from them. I hope I sufficiently answered that question that was burning that hole through your brain. <laughs> if not, please write in the comments and I will help complete that answer for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, please help me out and click that subscribe button. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.